What is up guys, it is KikiZilla101 here yet again and welcome back to Kiki and Coffee, the show where we casually talk about stuff and put in as minimal effort as possible while we drink coffee. So grab your coffee, tea, or other preferred beverage and let's get straight into the video. Ah, some good coffee. Alright, Terabyte Bat Hat. This is actually a really interesting company because um, they're actually quite wide, widespread. Um, in terms of just like accessibility if you have a target because they're pretty much only sold at Target So wherever you have a target you can basically find them at every target um, They're really easy to find um, but they're not quite as popular as some of the other big four I think that they, they you know if they had other stores that sold them and stuff and if they're a little bit more widespread I think that they would be a better contender uh, But they're also kind of like a dying breed of dinosaur toys um, because, as you, as you know, uh, as you might know, there was an old line called uh, Batat, I believe. Uh, like, the, it was a Batat Museum line uh, where it was uh, Dan LaRusso, I believe, that was the sculptor for all the figures. Very uh, great lines, really great stuff in there. I really wish you could get a hold of, like, oh, their Triceratops, their old Triceratops model looks so good. I really wish you could get a hold of that, but. Probably not going to ever happen, but not that big of a deal. The nice thing about Terabyte Bat Hat, though, they have these really great sculpts. Like, even this T-Rex is one of the most accurate T-Rex sculpts on the market. It's got some it's got some accuracy issues, don't get me wrong, but it's really good. It is a really good T-Rex figure, and it's 10 bucks. This thing is 10 bucks at, um, at Target. Now, don't get me wrong, you're still getting a $10 figure, so... It's not the best uh, in terms of detail, it's very glossy, the paint application can be a little rough in some spots, and in particular this T-Rex can have an issue of um, standing up. This guy, like, he's standing right now, but like a lot of times he'll just tip over very easily, and he's fallen, he's taken a couple uh, nose dives off my shelf, which actually, oh yeah, you can actually see he has gotten scuffed up on his teeth right there, I don't know if you can see that, but he's gotten scuffed up at the front. Uh, there's also some... Uh, other options like the Ceratosaurus and Carnotaurus, these guys are both like seven, six dollars. Like they're really cheap little dudes, and they're pretty nice quality. I mean, they're very outdated. Um, like definitely the Ceratosaurus has a lot of issues. You can probably just sit there and look at it and notice it. Got a really a, quite a few issues. The Carnotaurus is actually pretty decent. I mean, you got the arm issues, got some shrink wrapping and stuff, but overall the general body proportions are pr really good. Because um, like, a lot of uh, companies and a lot of uh, figures, especially back then, when this was first sculpted, really made Carnotaurus too bulky. I mean, it was a very slim, slender animal, uh, very sleek, and this one really captures that really well. It's a really nice little figure. I really I really think it, it it's not that bad for what it is. And it's only, you know, like six bucks at, at Target. Uh, this one was another, like, six dollar one, pretty cheap. Um, I, I might be getting the price slightly off, but they're so cheap, guys. Like, they're really cheap. Like... Like seriously, maybe they're like seven bucks. Like they're really the variation in price does not go up very much at all. Um, this one here is not what you're actually going to be getting if you get in a market store. This is actually just a repainted one by my uh, good friend Spino dude. Um, and unfortunately, the paint has been peeling off of the tail there because it is a very flexible figure. Um, but he actually repainted this, and I uh, uh, bought it off of him. I really love this one. I actually have a video of me unboxing this one on the channel. If I remember to, it'll be up in the top right corner right now. Um, <clears throat> And uh, just a really uh, nice repaint from him. But the, it gives you a general idea of what the Amargosaurus sculpt looks like because uh, I don't really have any other Terabyte Bat figures. This is it. These are the only figures I have. Um, but yeah, uh, Terabyte Bat Hat is a very cheap alternative to other things if you want to just pick up a nice quality figure. Some really nice gems like this um, Tyrannosaurus I think is really great. Their Paris Rolfus is pretty good. Um, they also have the uh, uh, De Centurus, which is pretty good. And I really like their EU plus Cephalus as well. They all have accuracy issues. They all have their problems. But there are some pretty good options out there. And they're not, they're not too many that are really bad. Um, I think the worst one is probably their Stegosaurus, if I remember correctly. And that they're still, that they're still releasing. That one's a... Got eight Thagomizers on its tail. But we'll ignore that. Um, yeah, but in... I would say that Terabyte Bat Hat is something that a lot of people don't really appreciate because they're a very cheap alternative for a lot of people and they actually do offer some pretty great uh, quality figures here for the price you're paying. 
Um, however, as you get uh, a little bit you know, older like myself and you're looking for better quality stuff, these don't really become as much of a viable option. I'm still really happy I have this T-Rex because the T-Rex is really nice. Um, the other ones I'm not super stoked on in particular. I really love this one because it's a repaint, but just like as a figure itself, like the sculpt, I'm not crazy about. I have uh, two better Amargasauruses. I have the, Safari, the new Safari one. I have the Safari Carnegie one. So, not really too fussed on getting into Terabat Hat stuff anymore. I really just don't feel like I need any. Um, but, the... I can't deny there's a lot of value to be had here. Even for adult collectors, if you just want something nice and cheap that's just a nice little figurine or you like the color schemes, like I think the Ceratosaurus actually has one of my favorite color schemes out of all of the Terabatat figures, if not my favorite. Um, so it, there's some really nice things to be had here on the Terabatat line. You can even get a really cheap alternative for an accurate Carnotaurus or a more accurate Carnotaurus uh, if you really want that. Um, so there's just a really nice charm to some of their stuff that they have. Um, and if, you ha if your eye catches on to some of them, I think they're really nice, cheap alternatives to some other figurines. And you get a really good quality figure there. And that's a nice time capsule figure as well for um, a, a kind of bygone era of dinosaur figurines. Like the kind of Carnegie, uh, bad hat, uh, you know, old, uh, like, pro-con, a collecta, a, a replicasaurus, you know, like ancient um, figure lines. And these are really, these are like the top of their game back then. Like, these were the best sculpts you could find back in how, how old uh, these ones were. They were actually really accurate, really well done, very crisp. Um, Safari was probably the only one really keeping up with them. Like, the Replicasaurus line and Procon line and um, other stuff like that was not really keeping up. Uh, but definitely uh, uh, Terra by Batat, was, or Batat, the old line, was really good. And these are just some nice sculpts. Unfortunately, they have so many sculpts that they own that they're just not using. I really wish they would put some of those sculpts back to use, like those, like the trike and stuff. If they did that and they put out some of their old sculpts uh, that they never really got to release in the Terra line, I'd be so I'd, I'd actually buy a couple of them. But the other stuff that they have right now, I'm just not super thrilled. Um, so if Terabyte Batat, you somehow watch, release some of your old figures, guys. Come on, like there's some really great sculpts in there that I'd actually get into buying um, if you released them, but you're just not doing it. So I don't, I don't know what their motivation is. If they just don't think anybody's gonna really care um, or what, but I don't know. Uh, they won't do it. I don't really expect them to be making any new figures anytime soon in terms of new sculpts. My friend actually, uh, Kayakasaurus. Uh, he, I know that he reached out to um, uh, Terra by Bad Tat and actually offered to be a sculptor for them so they could get new figurines, and they turned him down. And if you know who Kayakasaurus is, you know that dude is ridiculously good. That dude is amazing. I actually have um, uh, one of his figurines on my shelf over there and a custom that he's made for me. Um, he's an amazing sculptor. They really missed uh, a chance there when they turned him down. But it kind of gives you an idea of where they're at because... Um, doesn't seem like they're really interested in continuing the line or any further advancements in it besides just like sizing up some of their models and turning them into animatronic toys um, that are really goofy and weird. Don't know. Uh, not super invested in it at this point. I'm not really, don't have much hope for the line uh, to extend. But what is there? I think there's some stuff that might be really interesting to you. So if you are interested in some of Terra Batat stuff, cool. I can't sway you away from p picking up a couple of them. Um, if they're a little harder to get in your country and you don't have targets or anything like that, maybe it'd be harder to, to convince yourself to do it. I think there are some really good ones like this T-Rex uh, that you might want to get. The other ones that I listed earlier that are really good, like the Parasaurolophus, the Decenturus, and Euplocephalus. I think those ones are really good. Um, but other than that, maybe it's not worth it for you. But, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this one's a pretty short one, but not really too much to say, unfortunately. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.